carved on the graveyard gate. I got no rules, just skulls to break. I dig a hole deep down in the ground, bury the hatchet so it can be found. Ain't gonna die in the company graveyard. 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 show in the air. Yeah. Hello and welcome to American Thunder. I'm your host, Michelle Smith. So if you happen to be walking down the beach, you'll want to check out the bike show on the boardwalk. We just finished the bike for uh, Daytona. Finished it last Saturday. Brought it up 
to compete in the boardwalk. I'm here right now just trying to defend my title, you know. I won this show last year, so I'm going to try to do it again. Starting at the front of the bike, you got a 120 triple gold spoke wheel. It's all 24 karat gold. It goes with the front rocker, the gold redneck front end that we modified and smoothed out. Basically, you're looking at a chassis built by Brighton Framework, and I can't leave anything alone, so I cut it up, re-arched all the tubes, changed the rear section of it quite a bit. I started doing the really arched backbone or Frisco mount in the tanks only because nobody was building a curved tunnel tank at the time. It's still kind of a signature of mine. Something kind of new I'm, I tried on this bike. I'm breaking the transmission as opposed to the rear wheel. We've got the uh, disc mounted right to the pulley on the tranny. Kind of one of those things when it was sitting in the shop, everybody was asking how it was going to work and I didn't have an answer for them, you know. The air dam in the front is actually the oil tank on this bike. It's a really cool deal because once you're moving, you really don't get the oil hot at all. The foot clutch is kind of something you've probably never seen. That's actually a hand lever that I spun around backwards and uh, hooked it to the foot linkage. As far as the rest of the bike goes, it's a 125-inch Billet Patrick motor. We put exotic pan tops on it. Carburetor set up by Nigel, and then I made the intake and the exhaust. We kind of went with a 50 seam paint because my airbrush artist turned 50 and requested that he get uh, free reign on the paint job for this bike. So, you know, what are you going to say to Sonny De Palma, you know? Uh, this is the first time we've run a bike show here. We had a very good show of bikes today, a lot of world class builds. We're very impressed with the machinery that showed up when we were judging. We really had to get down to, to nitpicking on little things to decide who was the winner. The man that decided to take that little extra time to hide the wiring or dead center the fender on the wheel so that it's even all around. Even little things like how the oil tank sits in the frame, is the gap all the way around even? Or has he got high low spots? It, there was a lot of little things you had to look for and the guys really came through. They really built some impressive bikes. It's a place where we can find builders that really show a lot of potential and talent, like Jerry Graves, uh, the Editor's Choice Bike tonight. That was a very sweet machine. My name's Jerry Graves. We're at the uh, American Iron Bike Show uh, here in Sturgis, South Dakota. Uh, came all the way from West Palm Beach to win this thing. But we, uh, we brought five bikes. We're taking home four trophies with us. Um, uh, it's pretty cool. It makes all the work, you know, all the hard work well worthwhile, you know. Uh, you know, I really appreciate the way Thunder Road's put on the show here, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll see him again next year.